Welcome, Fight Fans, to UFC 293 main event announcement and preview on the Silver Lining. We got some major news last night from Daddy Dana, and we're going to dive all into it around the headliner of this card, the other fights in this card, the storylines, and so much more. You can see a check mark because we're getting Izzy versus Sean Strickland, and we're losing. Hopefully, in the future, we'll get Izzy versus Duplices. Izzy tried to manifest this fight to happen against Duplices so much. He got so close, so close. It did not happen. Why did not happen? Why do you want the fight? So many storylines to dive into. Let's get into it. The next four UFC pay-per-views are now stacked. This was the only headline we did not know. Two weeks from now, in August, uh, in Boston, we have Sterling versus O'Malley. This is bad blood. That press conference could be fire. It's going to be a lot of ish talking. And that's in the bantamweight division. And then we have the fight we just talked about. We'll dive into today. In October, Abu Dhabi, Islam Makachev is defending his lightweight title against Charles Dubronx Oliveira. This is a rematch of their fight last year. Islam won that fight. And now they're redoing it again after Charles had one fight to bring it back against Benel Dunush. Darush, excuse me, where he won that fight uh, first round TKO, and now he gets another chance. And then lastly, we got two MMA GOATs, two future UFC Hall of Famers in the mecca of the mall, New York, New York, the granddaddy of the mall, Madison Square Garden, John Bone Jones versus Stipe Miocic. For Jones's heavyweight title, Miocic, it's a two-time heavyweight champion, two different times, can he get it back and beat the MMA GOAT? Or does Jones get to live by himself as MMA GOAT? You know we'll have all these previews and the reviews after these cards, before these cards. So stay here with the silver lining. But we're here today to talk about the Izzy versus Strickland fight. It almost didn't happen. Because we really wanted Izzy versus Duplessis. The bad buildup we're going to talk about in a second. Errol Halani, MMA journalist, talked about on this show today at MMA Hour that the UFC almost made... Jury versus Alex. So Yuri versus Alex. Yuri was the former light heavyweight champion. He hurt his shoulder. He had to give up his belt. That went to Jamal Hill, who won the fight for his belt. Jamal Hill got hurt. Now the belt is back up for grabs. You probably recognize Alex. He just fought at UFC 291 in Salt Lake City. He beat Yawn in a three-round fight by decision, split decision. He also beat Izzy. Once here in the UFC, beat him twice in kickboxing. He won the middleweight title, only his fourth fight ever in the UFC. And then he lost his middleweight title to Izzy in the rematch. So imagine if he wins the light heavyweight title, if this is what that fight is for, Izzy wins the middleweight, and then Izzy goes up to try to beat him for the heavyweight title. Woo! Light heavyweight title. Woo -hoo -hoo! And uh, this would be Izzy's second time going up because he lost to Yawn when he tried to become a champ champ. And who did you all lose to? Alex. Dun, dun, dun. So who have we got on the card so far for UFC 293? Israel Adesanya versus Sean Strickland. Tai Tuvasa versus Alexander Volkov. And then Kai Kara France versus Manel Capet. The three on the left, Adesanya, Tuvasa, and Kai Kara France are all from the same area in that part of the world. Aussieland, New Zealand. Fiji, so they're going to be the home favorites. They're the people, USA, Russia, and I, it looks like Portugal for Cape. Excuse me if I'm wrong there. I can't see the flag well. Not going to be the home favorites. That's what matters. So there is some home favorites being built on the card, and that's what they're doing again for the prelims, really trying to stack it with people from that region, the Asia, South Pacific area. Same with the early prelims. So you can see that most of them are ready to go. However, there's only three fights on the main card so that means we're missing two fights here that are going to be on the main card that we're still going to find out when they come up the climax of this card was supposed to be izzy versus duplices izzy's from nigeria to start and then when he started kickboxing he went down to new zealand and that's where he trains and that's his de facto home now izzy is african from africa duplices is from south africa so they got in a heated argument about who is the real african I'm not going to dive into it. You can look it up online, but it got extremely racial. Izzy got extremely racial here after Duplessis beat Whitaker. Uh, Izzy wants to fate Duplessis. Is someone new in the middleweight division. He hasn't fought before. Tried to manifest it to happen. 
The police he's unfortunately seems like he has an injury. He is not able to turn around from when he won this fight at two pay-per-views ago, 290, uh, in two months to come back and fight. So that's where we get the fight against Strickland. For Duplessis to have this opportunity, he beat Robert Whitaker, who is he's already bought twice. So you can see there's a lot of, lot of combinations here, a lot of rematches or uh, new matches that are happening because of rematches because Izzy doesn't want to fight the same people again. Duplessis was six in the ranking, and he's going to jump everybody because Izzy's going through the whole division twice. He would have fought Robert a third time. So, unfortunately for Robert, he lost his fight. He's also someone else from uh, the South Pacific as well. How did Duplessis get here? Since he's entered the UFC, he has not lost. He is 6-0. You can see he's had five TKOs, KOs, uh, with a submission in there, and then a decision unanimous. So his competition's gone up. He probably realistically is one or two fights away from really being there. If there were more contenders in the middleweight division, they're not. So that's where the beef came. Uh, Izzy started the beef. Duplessis was right there with him. And now they're going to fight. And unfortunately, they're not. So that takes us to Sean Strickland versus Israel Sonia. Izzy is 24-2. and two, While Sean Strickland is 27-5. and five. Sean Strickland is lower on the totem pole in the rankings. But again... We don't want Izzy to fight the same people. Uh, they want to draw. So this is new blood for Israel Adesanya. Tail the tape. Izzy is 6'4", while Sean is 6'1". Obviously, they both get weighing in at 185 pounds. Izzy is two years older at 34, while Sean is 32. Sean Strickland's reach is four inches smaller than Israel's. Israel's is 80, while Sean's is 76. Izzy can really fight from both different ways, lefty, righty, and orthodox, orthodox switch, and while Sean's mainly just a brawler, boxer, orthodox division. When I look at Izzy's fights history, it's like who's who's everybody in the middleweight division. He's only lost twice since he came in the UFC. Look at how many title belts he's had in a row. Two, four, six, eight, ten title defenses or title fights in a row. The fights that he lost, one, Alex Pereira in the middleweight Rematch right away. Got it back. At the one he lost was John Blokovic, as we talked about already. Tried to go up to become champ champ in the light heavyweight division. Did not win that. Why did he not lose? John did a great job using his weight and superior body mass to be able to hold him down. And Izzy could never really get his striking going. Sean Strickland would be smart to use this in his fight. However, Strickland is a box brawler. He's going to come at your face. So it's going to be basically a boxing kickboxing match most likely when they fight. Here's Strickland's fight history since 2018. He's been the UFC since 2014. You can tell that he's been on a roll too. He had a blip where he lost two in a row, and then he came back and won two more. Again, he probably needs a couple more fights, but there's no one else there. The other thing that Sean's got, the gift of the gab. He can talk and talk and talk, and he's going to be able to create a lot of press for this fight. The press conference is going to be amazing between him and Izzy talking, so do not miss that. This could be fun. The other two fights on the main card, as we talked about, we got Tuivasa versus Volkov. 6-2 Tui versus 6-7 Volkov. It's going to be really interesting to see how does he handle the height. Obviously, he's got the home crowd at his hand, uh, at his side for Tui. And then lastly, in the flyweight division, Car France, home favorite versus Cape. 5-4 versus 5-5 at 125 pounds. Again, these fights are going to be small fighters, but they're really fast and high action so you're not going to want to miss this car france is coming off of a tough loss where it was a split decision that he could have won in the apex where he was headlining it and then he also lost the fight before that when he was going for the heavyweight excuse me the flyweight title so he's really got the chip on his shoulder to prove so that's how we get to the ufc 293 main event announcement car preview what are your thoughts who wins izzy strickland are you bummed that duplices is not facing izzy do you think they'll be able to fight in the future Comment all your thoughts right here on Randy Silver YouTube and the channel right there. We want to hear it. Let's have a dialogue. And of course, please subscribe to this channel so we can keep you updated on everything around UFC, MMA, and sporting events daily. Thank you for watching today. Randy Silver, The Silver Lining, out.